You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a brand new face for Greater Brockton. I have Kara McCormick. Nice to see you, Kara. Hi. Nice Welcome. to be here. Thank you. I know the whole McCormick family. <laughs> and now, now I know you, which is great. Uh, your mom ran the Council on Aging. She yep. was the director of cultural affairs for your, the city. Your dad was a star on our television station doing Veterans History Project and helped me out a few times with insurance related oh, good. matters. <laughs> okay. And I know your sister and I see it's Eli, Eli. On, on Facebook, so I know the whole family. <laughs> but you have kind of carried on the family tradition. You're working on this wonderful project that I just heard about called By the People, the People's Museum of Brockton. People are important. Yes. And the artifacts and the history of this city is absolutely fascinating, and you want to bring it to us, right? That's right. So how would you get the idea to do this? Well, I was away for a long time. I lived out of the state for about 10 years, and a couple of years ago I was with my sister driving around downtown. I hadn't been downtown in years. I don't even remember when I'd been there. And I noticed that it was different from when I had been there as a, as a kid, as a teenager. Um, and I started wondering who was here now? Who are the people that live here? What are they doing? That kind of thing. Um, and so in my search to find out who all of the different, you know, the sort of diverse groups of people that were living here, I found that the official history of Brockton is still very much uh, sort of pre-1985 mm -hmm. history that sort of ends with Rocky Marciano. Uh, and I thought, you know, the last 35, 40 years there's been a shift, really, and I wanted to diversify the history of Brockton. And I started thinking about how I would do that. And I wanted to also sort of find out how important it is for people to see themselves reflected in the history of the place they call home. And that's really what happened. It's always been a fascinating pl place. Brockton is a city of immigrants from mm -hmm. day one, okay? North Bridgewater back in the day. Um, different waves of immigration here over the years, um, new waves, like for instance, the Cape Verdean Association was formed in 1977. It is close to the 85 time mm -hmm, frame. Mm -hmm. Manny Andrade, who happens to be one of our show producers over here, have to hook you up with him, he rode in on the Salo Ernestina boat, which is down in Fall River, New Bedford. That's oh, how he wow. came to this country. Mm -hmm. And he founded the Cape Verdean Association. He was the first president, and he's still around. He's still kicking. He came out to our public hearing the other day to talk about it. I managed to get the Globe to do a profile piece on him because oh, he's very interesting. Um, we have uh, a huge Haitian population here in Brockton. Um, they have been very strong. My, one of my favorite events I go to all year besides the Cape Verdean Festival, is the Haitian Flag Day, with all the kids from all the different schools from the Haitian population. Of course, we have strong African-American history here that goes all the way back to Frederick Douglass and before that, mm -hmm. Frederick Douglass Way, uh, the, the Liberty Tree, all of that. Um, we showcase a lot of this up at the Historical Society, but we're a volunteer nonprofit, and we don't really have funding or staff, so we're only open a couple of Sundays a month. Right. Uh, we bring that alive. The, the city, the library, has a historical room, which mm -hmm. I'm sure you've already been to. Um, I used to live there. My first job was a library, a library page, I was called, mm -hmm. and now I'm chairman of the board over there. I love the library, and there's good stuff over there, too. Yes. They've digitized a lot of the yearbooks from Brockton High. I think they're on there. 151st graduation, oh, if I'm wow. not mistaken. So the tr th this building you're in right now is 1890. Well, there's a really interesting long history of Brockton, but one of the things I'm really interested in is to find out the sort of personal histories, even if somebody has lived in Brockton for a year or two, right. to find out why they're here, what brought them here, how they feel about being here, and that's really the story that I'm trying to get at. This sort of shorter, but still really intriguing and rich mm -hmm. history for people. And, and I'm also really interested in the ways that personal history is combined to create a cultural history of place. Wow. <laughs> I remember hearing your mother say similar stuff back in the day, and she just never had the resources at City Hall to do that. She, right. she did a lot with a little, 
and even over at the Council on Aging because the stories you get over there are amazing. So believe it or not, I got the five minute queue already. So I don't want to run out of time. I don't want to talk too much. Tell us what you're trying to get people to do and the time frame. So basically I'm um, situated at the gallery at Enzo Flats, which is at 50 Center Street on the corner of Montello and Center. And I'm asking people to bring me one object and the object has to be significant to them personally and have a personal story and also be about their connection to Brockton. Um, so what's going to happen is these, all of these individual objects will be curated into a show at the gallery at Enzo Flats and we'll have an opening reception and hopefully a really strong and interesting discussion about what is revealed through the, the experience and through the exhibit itself. Okay website, phone number, Facebook, all the basics so we can put them up on the screen and people can get in touch My with you. My website is caramccormick.com slash by the people. Uh, my email is cara at caramccormick.com and you can get in touch with me at 617-686-4113. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook, find the by the people on Facebook. Um, I believe it's facebook.com by the people. Okay. Oh no, it's um, Brockton People's Museum. There we That's go. We'll do that. Now, you're also <laughs> going to be there 11 to 3, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Correct. So the from, first three days of the week. Yes. From 11 to 3 p.m., Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, up until July 26th except for this coming Tuesday, which is July 4th. Right. Um, and I know that that's a hard time for a lot of people. It's during the day. I know people work. So if there's another time, if people really want to contribute to the project, which I hope that they will, um, then you can just get in touch with me uh, via Facebook or email or whatever and let me know. We'll set up a time to meet. And right now you're doing all this out of the goodness of your heart. You I do am not indeed. have funding. Correct. Okay. Uh, you're making something great out of not having any resources, <laughs> but the resources are the artifacts and the people. Correct. But um, you would love to have businesses and different organizations, uh, nonprofits and businesses donate to yes. help you out. Yes, that would be amazing. I think that the budget can be uh, relatively, you, you know, doable and low, uh, given that I there's you know the gallery has been has been kind enough to offer the space to me, mm -hmm. and yes, the artifacts are also. Um, Lo on loan from the people of Brockton, but you know there are other contingencies that do need to be funded. And yes, I would love. Can you? Funded. I'm sure you would do in kind. So let's say if Vincentes decided they wanted to give you some food, you could take that. If, Absolutely. If, if, or, 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 or a business or somebody else, if someone wanted to donate some flyers or you know you. Your mom was really good at that. That's all I have to say. I, <laughs> she, she, she was a wheel of dealer and in a positive sort She's of a very way. good partner of mine, okay. for sure. And, yes. um, you know, I would think Council on Aging is a natural place to go to because the artifacts that some of the folks have there, and they, some of them are older experiences and some of them are newer experiences. Um, I'm actually going to the Council on Aging and doing a workshop there at the end of the month. Okay, well, we might go there and join along. Great. Okay, so just to sum up, I, I got the one minute cue, believe it or not, we're done. <laughs> by the people, the People's Museum of Brockton. I like this flyer, our stories, our history, our city. You're looking for people to help you make history by bringing our personal object or keepsake to the gallery at Enzo Flats. We'll give you all the information that's all up on the screen. And thanks for being part of Greater Brockton. Thank you so much. Glad to help and we're looking forward to it and I'll participate myself. Excellent, can't you. wait. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.